artist Bruce Lowney shares the inspiration he finds in nature and mythology. I, I feel I came of age in an apple orchard. The trees became important to me from that, uh, and a tree is a, is a good symbol. I've always liked the idea that it had a trunk and, arm and limbs, as do we, and it's reaching upward to the light. So that's uh, ideally a, a metaphor for man, for mankind. I came here as a lithographer and I was only later self-trained as a, as a painter. For the last 36 years, I've been in the middle of a quarter section of nature and 160 acres out <clears throat> just past the Continental Divide, west central New Mexico. And the uh, peace, the quiet that I needed as a refuge, I just sort of self-protect in that way, uh, being a more or less interior person. I've always liked perspective, and the idea of, of infinity was important, and it was sort of a challenge to paint or draw clouds going back over hills. That grid system gives a framework for things lining up in, into the horizon, and that's uh, a, a way to indicate infinity and the, and the sublime of space. call them um, impossible probabilities. They're, they're naturalistic, in, in only it's not painted from nature or drawn from nature. Maybe you don't realize till you look at it more closely that it's all uh, arranged. It's uh, just a predilection with me, I think, a little certain uh, obsessiveness to line things up. Maybe I'm a quarter German, and maybe that's a German trait. I wonder about ethnicity. Once you've established the image and you're, and you're articulating the, uh, to, with me the naturalism, there's a point where the painting tells you what it needs. You try to engage your spirit in it, and they speak of that infolding where spirit, capital S, is, is within the artistic uh, object, whether it's music or a poem or a painting. And if you're not careful, you can overwork it and, and uh, bury it and, and uh, deny that spirit. So it's a tenuous thing. In the, in the myth of Acteon and Diana, Acteon is out with his buddies and Acteon uh, sort of wanders away and, and comes into a glade and here's this little pool. And of all things, the chaste goddess Diana bathing with her nymphs. And that is something mortal eyes cannot look on, you know. That, that innocence and that um, and I, I see it in a, in a poetic light, but that's, that's the muse in a way. So she uh, splashes water in his face and says, what you've seen, you'll never speak of. And he feels horns, antlers going out of his head and his, ar his arms and legs turning into a deer's legs. And he hears his hounds, they've caught the scent of a stag he realizes it's his dogs, and they run them down and kill them. In my use of that myth, Acteon, with his collar up, walking <laughs> along a wall and about to turn into where there's trees and above that the, the quarter moon of Diana. And to his side, here are all these dogs, all hunting dogs, in coats and ties, 
you just see the top of them, but they're, they're all going there, and he, he's looking like, if I can just get around the corner, I might be safe. So that's the narrow escape. Jung talks about the subconscious and the, the collective unconscious, and, and that's uh, important to me that, that I'm not just personally speaking from my background, but I'm ideally and hopefully uh, speaking archetypally, where uh, it's a shared, you know, in, in, the human, in the human species. To have uh, dreams that are related, you know, we could, uh, not that we share, share everything, but we, we, can, we can agree on certain symbols and things like that. So it's the uh, collective unconscious that I, I hope to tap into. It, it's, a, it's a strange profession. It is a profession. I always come back to it because it's who I have always been an artist with that sensibility and, and, uh, and living that life. In, in working in, in art, it's mainly, I think, pretty selfish. You're, you're trying to find uh, some degree of self-fulfillment and, and, you know, to do a really good painting. You finish one uh, and you go on to another and you try to, you know, you, you're never off the hook. You're trying to do it better. It's a complex art, color and, and pigment and and uh, how you develop a painting. Like any profession, it's something you have to do and, and you, you, you will die doing it. There's no retirement, there's no, you know, you, you die with a brush in your hand. Whether that serves a social purpose or, or something beyond yourself, that, that's kind of hard to say. You want to make something beautiful, the same time making it uh, right in your to your uh, demands, and uh, that should stand up to scrutiny uh, and mean something. Mm -hmm.